So hi there, right, I think that's working. We had a bit of trouble getting on, but we think we've sorted it now. Uh, so I'm Ryan Paul Troy. Uh, I'm going to be doing a few interviews with some local talent, local artists, and many more. Uh, first up, we've just got, well, why don't we let you introduce yourself? Who are you and uh, what are you doing on my screen? <laughs> Uh, well, uh, my name's Roger. I'm an artist. I'm a rapper. I make music. So, so yeah, sounds sounds pretty simple. Just straight to the point. <laughs> uh, so, so what first got you into music? Let's just start this off straight at first. You know, obviously everyone's got a story of where they got started, and you know, what what's yours? Uh, I don't know. Um, I mean, when I was younger, about I think it was about thirteen, fourteen, when I started getting into rap music, when I, I started listening to Eminem and started listening to his music and I just realized there was a story behind every time and he always used to, he, he most of his music in something that's happened in his life. So after I started listening to his, like I think his first song that I ever heard was Mockingbird. All right, yeah. And, and the story behind that was like amazing to me. Like I still listen to it now till today. And I think from that, I started writing music when I was like 14 years old, 13, 14 years old. All right, sweet. So one of the main inspirations to your music has, has got to be Eminem then. Yeah. So uh, who else do you, do you get inspired by? Because uh, you've got quite a, quite a nice, soft sound to your uh, Tweedy rap. Because everyone always hears rap. You always think straight away, high tempo, straight in your face. But you're, you're not at all, are you? You're quite relaxed and quite chill. Yeah, I think it's because, like, with mine as well because of his inspiration like I kind of went into that sort of meaning behind it so like I write about my past experience mainly yeah. or something that I know about something that's happened in my past All right, so okay. yeah I mean yeah so how would you actually describe the music that you typically write then? Because uh, obviously you, you describe where your, your ideas from the writing side comes from. But where do you get yeah. your ideas from the music and the inspiration behind that? Uh, I don't know. It depends really. Like sometimes I try out, I look, for, I look for different beats and I try and like, I kind of like try and find one that kind of flows with the, with the, uh, with the writing as well. Because like you don't want um, a track that's got a slow like a deep meaning to it but with a high pitched tempo and like yeah, yeah. and stuff like that so it's a, you've got quite a, a quite a, a range for your uh, creative process there then haven't you yeah 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 uh, so what else, what sort of do you like to do in your creative process um, is there any sort of things that you like to um, you'd like to do before you start to write any music or you know is it um, to be in a certain zone or sometimes it depends sometimes the the words just come to me like I could write, like usually, like I've written a track. I mean, you've heard my track, Storyteller. Yeah. Um, I've written that track. I wrote that track within five minutes. Believe it or not. Yeah, literally. I remember you saying that when we were filming music video for it. Yeah. Um, I, I, I always stick that on those so people can have a listen to that as well and see what what people think and you know get an idea. Yeah, I mean, I literally wrote that track within five minutes. But sometimes I write a track within five minutes and then I'll have to go through it about ten times and I'll change loads of things in yeah. the track <laughs> just to like make sure. It, it sounds better. So it's like writing an essay. It's like you just change the first draft, second draft. Yeah, it's yeah. It's like I change, I, change, I change a lot of the words in it. I change, I move things around if it, if I feel that it doesn't kind of flow with the music. Should I tell us a little bit about the story behind that then? Because obviously it's called Storyteller. Um, yeah. So if you don't, if you you know, because I know that some people, you, you, you want to try and keep the, the hidden meaning behind the song. Um, is that something that you try with this track or is it something that you're quite open about? Uh, I think it's a bit of both, to be honest. I mean, it was a bad patch in my life where I did struggle to come out, to be honest. I mean, um, it started when I was younger, around 18 years old. And things just seemed to go downhill from um, reached about 22, 23. I think everything started to kind of smoothen out then. But it was just one of those where I had a bad patch in my life and things weren't going right for me at that point yeah. for a while, to be honest. So. All right. Um, so we'll, we'll go off a little bit here. So uh, everyone has sort of like the, the people that they'd like to collaborate with. 
Is there anyone that you would like to collaborate with? Mine definitely would be Loki. All right. He, I mean, for those who don't know, he's a artist in London. He's very political. And his music's like, since ever since I've heard his music, I've just loved like his lyrics and what he talks about. And just like, yeah, just like his music in general is just yeah. really inspiring to me. Well, that's quite cool. Um, and if you could collaborate with anyone like uh, of like a famous sort of thing, whether it be alive or dead, um, who would that be? Tupac, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I knew that we were going to be there. I just that's why I thought I'd ask you because he's it, just he's just one of those that you, you can't even explain, can you? He's, he's just an absolutely yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. He brought out so many amazing tracks and he, you know all the conspiracies that's behind him and everything as well. Uh, but obviously, we're getting into that. It's a completely different video altogether, is that? <laughs> um, so, if you could open a show for any artist, who would it be? Uh, probably still Loki uh, uh, shows and stuff like that, yeah. and like Immortal Technique or someone like that as well, because they're more or less on the same. All right, like okay. I've only ever seen Immortal Technique once in my life when he came to London, and it was just something else, like performing like I've listened to his music and everything yeah that's ah, sweet so um so he's, he's quite a bit of an inspiration to you as well I'm guessing yeah yeah um so we're gonna go off a little bit off of uh off of the music side of things for a moment um have you got any useless talents I do you know <laughs> it's a All weird right. it's a weird it's a weird talent I could do this thing with my tongue where I could make it fat and skinny <laughs> okay are you going to show us? <laughs> no, I think I'll leave that for another video. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. So, you know, obviously the, the world's in lockdown at the moment. Everything's not how it's supposed to be. Um, we're not allowed to actually sit and talk to each other without being, like, over the internet and, you know, rubbish internet signals and all this. But if, if it wasn't for COVID-19, uh, what would you be doing at this moment in time? Um... Probably be sleeping to be honest. <laughs> no, but um, uh, I don't know. I mean, like, I just probably be making more music. I mean, like, even now, struggling through the COVID nineteen, I'm still trying to do whatever I can regarding my music, writing music, recording yeah. music. And like I said to you before, that like I still need some videos shooting and stuff like that. So. Well, you know where I am if you need that, obviously, at the moment. We can't, no, no, I mean, we can't, record, we can't I record online. <laughs> I know, yeah, we'll find a way. <laughs> like, and where's one of your most favourite places that you performed? Um, I haven't performed in a while, to be honest, but um, I think the last place I performed was our wedding. Um, right, that was okay. probably the last place that I performed, yeah. Right, that was yeah. probably the most, that would probably be like one of the best places I felt like I performed. Yeah, no, that's quite cool. It's not something that you usually think about with, uh, with rappers yeah, yeah. as well, performing at a wedding. Um, so, I how think do you it's different though because, I'd say I think it's different though because when you're performing at a wedding, you're writing specifically for the people that are there or the bride yeah, yeah. so yeah, you try to kind of dedicate to them so you make it a bit more uh, uh, an experience than anything else yeah yeah, yeah. cool so how do you feel that uh, the internet has impacted uh, with music and yourself and you know I, I mean I think it's really evolved I mean like right now because of this whole lockdown and stuff like even all these famous artists and myself and other people that I know they're all kind of like promoting it on like Instagram live or Facebook live and yeah. they might be doing like layer freestyle or something on live whilst the, whilst the people are watching I mean it's really the only way we can connect really right now yeah so. <laughs> at the moment I think if for anything the internet is just is a lifesaver at the moment if all in it so you know especially when you can get on and you can talk to your family and friends uh, if this had happened 20, 30 years ago, it, you know, it, we wouldn't have been able to uh, connect to anyone at all. You know, yeah. so social media has obviously changed that quite a lot, not just for business, but just general day-to-day -day life. Uh, yeah. I've never, I've, I don't think in this time, I've never actually had 
as many times that I've been on and spoken to people online and that is just it's just ridiculous. But yeah. we've got to do, we've got to do and a bit of a message, stay at home. It's the best thing to do. <laughs> at the minute. Um so you've got a lot of songs, you do a lot of songs that you write. Um what's your favourite track that you you prefer to perform? Like your most excited one that you like to you know what I'm actually excited to do this every night. Um well, right now is the track that I'm actually in the process of making at the moment. Mm. But before that, um, Waterfall's probably my favorite. I mean, yeah. I've got loads of I've got loads of songs that I've written, but I just haven't recorded. Like literally, like I just I just write all the time. Like I've got like I've got so many unfinished lyrics in like my in my notepad and stuff like that. But I just write all the time. But I think. The one that I'm writing at the moment, the one that I'm um, sorting out at the moment, that's probably going to be one of the best ones I've ever done. Yeah. But Waterfall is probably one of my favourites as well. All right, okay. So you mentioned Waterfall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a little bit of a teaser because I know that you've not released that one yet. Um, so here's a little bit of a teaser for that. And it was uh, obviously shot by myself and it had um, a, a local model and actress in it called Rosa Evans. So... Enjoy this little snippet. Yeah. So we're gonna go off a little bit now. Um, so, what is the most trouble you ever got into? I don't know. To be honest, I've really got into a lot of trouble, like where I've where I've been caught. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, honestly, I don't know. Um, so, what's next for you then? What's uh, what what's your plans in the long run and things in the? Uh, uh, I mean, like I was saying, I've got a track coming out soon with. Featuring, a, a, featuring an artist um, who's quite big. Um, that's I mean, that's literally in the process right now. Um, and then I sh I've got a track that I'm going to be featuring on with a Canadian artist who's quite right. big in Canada. I don't know when. I don't know when that's happening yet. Right now, I mean, I've got, I haven't got the dates or anything. And like I've been in contact with a couple of big guys so recently, and they've just been really supportive right now. And hopefully, I'll end up collabing with them soon as well. So. Brilliant. Right. Well, thank you very much for uh, for taking the time out and having a bit of an interview. Um, have uh, Have you got a little bit of a snippet of a track that you that you'll just like sign us off with a bit of a freestyle or something? Or uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I could put a beat on for you right now because I'm sitting in my car anyway. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, take it away whenever you're ready. Uh, can you hear that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, this one I'm just going to do completely. This war needs to stop. This war needs to end. Little kids dying below the age of 10. How would you feel if that was your brother with the same blood or the same mud that you wouldn't like it be a bullet to the heart? These kids are harmless, they can't fight back. Mothers guarding the kids with the life, protecting them from people with the knife, they're scared to death. They're always crying, thinking, I can't picture my child dying. What is that? All this segregation needs to be together. No separation, the blacks, Asians, browns, or the whites. Why are we different because of our heights? Uh, I'll have to stop it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. First no, thing no, in the, morning the, and all. the thing is, though, that's it. But it all, when you got to think of freestyle and that, it literally, it's all coming yeah. straight off the top of your head. Bam, 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 bam. And, you know, it's, 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 I won't be able to do it. You did better than I'd be able to do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be rapping about eyes and legs and stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> Printers and cameras and that. Right, thank you very much for your time anyway. It was a pleasure uh, to have a, a chat with you. And uh, we'll see you again when the world is back on its axis and normals. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. And thank you very much for everyone that's watched. And if you want to check out Raja, all you need to do is uh, find him on Facebook. How can you do that? Uh, well, I'm more active on my Instagram. 
Is it Instagram? So, Go on, what's your Instagram? Yeah, uh, my uh, Instagram is Raja, so R A J W A on the underscore 416. There we go. So, and uh, get, get on there, get that guy a follow. Thank you very much again, Roger, and I will see you later on. Bye for now. No, he's right. Cheers. Thank you.